Hi everybody. Today is a special day out here in the Sims Bayou watershed area, which is nestled between North Broadway and Hartsook. This is a great project that you're gonna to see today, so stay tuned and come see some progress. The new stormwater detention basin, spanning 420 acres and holding 136 million gallons of stormwater, serves as a vital lifeline for the community. By reclaiming 45 acres from the floodplain, it protects 449 homes from a 100-year flood, bringing peace of mind to many families. Beyond flood protection, the basin acts as a catalyst for connectivity and recreation. It features a new access road to the Milstead Middle School, providing a safer route for children and parents. Also stay tuned for a future scenic hike and bike trail addition around the basin to further enhance community connections and leisure opportunities. The detention basin is a testament to careful planning and community collaboration. And I'm excited because we're gonna go visit with Mr. Ray Soto, who has been a resident of the area for 33 years and also serves as the vice president of the Freeway Manor Civic Association. I have lived in the community since 1989. Uh, some of the first things that I noticed in the community were the uh, flooding. So any, any rains always concerned us as to whether we would get in or not. I know this project has benefited many of our seniors in the community, such as Mr. Mickey and others that uh, have helped get these uh, projects underway. This project really makes me feel good because it was a major effort to get done. And this brings us up to the final step right now. We have a very beautiful 66 acre detention pond known as the South Shaver Detention Pond. It was just a relief in general, just to know that we're making progress and uh, the community has visually can take partake in enjoying those facilities as walking trails. And the major part is just the relief that uh, we may not flood and uh, just the stress factor involved with that. Yeah, hi, hey, Mr. Soto, how are you? Good, good to you. see you. Nice to see you. Hey, thank you for joining us. Oh. I, I, I'm, I'm excited to show you the project and then hoping uh, you'll appreciate what, what we've been uh, working on. Oh yeah, great. It's a pleasure meeting you and an honor. I, I've been wanting to meet you for quite a while. So. Well, thank you. Great. It's my honor. Great. Great. Well, you ready? Yes, sir. One thing I'm excited about, Mr. Soto, mm -hmm. is that in combination with the flood control district, uh, we have had zero homes reported flooded since 2019. Yeah, yeah. I was surprised we had uh, no water holding on yeah. the roads. So yeah. this project in itself is going to bring a lot of stress relief. And it's beautiful, just the scenery itself. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's the minute y'all stop working here. And then with the hike and bike trail that we're going to put in yeah, later on. Yeah, yeah, that's great. So now, you know, All we right. have something to, to look forward to here. So. There you go. All right, well, let's go see some okay. progress. Okay, great. what we're doing today is is preventing another another catastrophe that we experienced in 2017 and and having a no restoration open up for almost two years to assist those families so this is a very exciting time for our neighbors thanks to this project now we can have some level of confidence that we uh, have a place for the water to go and that's quite a, a relief for not only for our church members but also for the community and working with the community we have the opportunity to understand what their needs are as well and, and make provision for how we can best support uh, the concerns of the community. <laughs> this is Revive to Thrive, how we're bringing results that leads to the progress of our communities so that they can thrive. <laughs>